Hi everyone, this is Mac and, we're and today we're going to talk about Google Cloud Print. The agenda for today is requirements to use Google Cloud Print, how Google Cloud Print works, different between Chrome Browser Connector and the Google Cloud Print Window Service, how to set up a Cloud Break Printer, how to set up a Classic Printer, how to share printers, and things to keep in mind. Requirements. You need to have the Chrome Browser installed on your computer or server. The printers need to be installed and able to print locally. In case for classic printers, you need to use Windows 7, 8 or 10, Windows Server 8 or 2, and Windows Server 2012. If you are behind a proxy or a web filter, you need to have the Google Cloud Print URLs whitelisted, as well as the port 443 and 5222 open on your network. How Google Cloud Print works. When you have the Cloud Print service ready to use, you just need to send any document to print, then it will be sent to the Google Cloud Print servers, to be processed. Then it, is, then it is sent to the printer, if it's a cloud record printer, or it is sent to the computer or server where the classic printer is installed. This is how you can print anything from anywhere from any device. Difference between the Chrome Browser Connector and the Google Cloud Print Windows Service. The difference are, from the setup, you need to use the, browser, the Chrome Browser to set up the Cloud Print. Once it's set up, you need to keep the Chrome browser open and the user sign into it as well. If you close the browser, then the printers are, will go offline. The other way, the other way around is the, the service. If you use the service, when you set up, you, you need to download it a little application, then you set it up with, the, with it. Then if, even though you close the browser or you restore the computer, then the service will still be running on the background as soon as the Windows restart, so you will always have access to your printers. It's recommended to use the service when you have when you are on a business or where you are on a, on a school district or something like that. How to set up a cloud ready printer? Basically, you need to go to the google.com slash cloud print. We're going to google.com slash cloud print. In here, we click on Add a Cloud Ready Printer. Here, we're going to see a list of manufacturers and a list of models. For example, if we, wanna, if we, ha if we have an HP printer, we click on HP. Then we have instructions here. We click here. It's going to take, take us where to the support.hp.com page, where we're going to have all the information on how to set up an HP Cloud Ready Printer with the HP service. This is basically the same thing when you have another model of devices. So you basically you just need to contact the manufacturer in order to set up a cloud ready printer. Okay. Now we're going back. How to set up a classic printer. You can set up a classic printer using a Chrome connector or the Google Cloud Print Windows service. I'm going to show you how to use the connector first. In order, in order to use the connector, you have a way to do it like this. We go to the settings button. Then we go to the show advanced settings. We look for the Google Cloud Print section and we click on manage. In here, we click on add printers. We're going to select only the printers we want in case we want just some specific ones or we select we leave them selectable I'm gonna just select specific ones in this case my HP printer and automatically register a new printer means that any printer any new printer I install is going to be added to the cloud print service automatically uh, click on add printer then we we'll click on manage printers and now we see the printer added as a cloud ready printer I'm going to delete it because I will show you how to use the service. Okay. In order to use the service, we're going to search for the Google Cloud Print Service. We click on this option. We we'll look for the download button. Click on it. Accept uninstall. And it's going to download an app. Once it's downloaded, you click on it at the bottom. 
and it's going to download and then install it. When it's done, you just click on close and we're going to find the Google Cloud Print Service icon at the desktop. See? And now we have it in here. Now, you need to be a admin user for the computer in order to be able to use the Cloud Print Service. I'm going to add my password and we click on register. It open Chrome. It's going to ask us to use a user. Cloud Print at .com. Password. And as well, we can select which printer we wanna we want to add to the service. It's gonna add my HP printer and as well automatically register printers is checked. We click on add printers, then the browser is going to close by itself, and we click on OK on this on this button, and we have the service running. Now we can close it here or close it here, and the service will be still running on the background. If we go back to the service, we refresh the page. Now we see that our HP printer is now added to the service. Okay. How to share printers? We can share printers to users or to devices. We can share users by going to google.com slash cloudprint. We click on the printers to have the list of printers. We click on the printer that we want to share and we click on share. In this case, we just need to enter the email address or the group where we want to share the printers. Just keep in mind that if you're going to use a group, that group need, must have an owner so they can accept the printer. Once you have added the email, you just need to share, and that will be it. In order to share the printers to the devices, we need to go to the admin console. Once on the admin console, we need to look for device management. We click on Chrome management. We look for device settings. You need to click on the organizational unit where the Chrome devices are located. They could be Chromebook or Chromeboxes. We go all the way to the bottom and we will find the Cloud Print section. Click on Manage. We have the Cloud Printers added to the left side. So we click on Add. Then we Save and Save again. Now the printers are now the printers are shared to the devices located under this organizational unit. Things to keep in mind: with the connector, the browser needs to be open at all times, and the user sign in. If you see duplicates, please check if you are if by any chance you have the Chrome connector and the Windows service running at the same time. If you do, please just use one, not the both at the same time. If the printers are going offline soon after you register them, then you need to check for the port 443 and 5222 that are open on your network. If you need features like print quota or report or reports of who is printing, you will need to use a third-party paid app like Uniflow or PaperCut because at this moment Google Cloud Print is not able to get this information for you. If you will use a Cloud Print Windows service, you need to sign into the PC as the administrator in order for the service to work properly. The Cloud Print is the only way a Chrome device, meaning Chromebook, Chromeboxes, can print. This is all I have. If, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitter. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.